Well, I think anybody who's interested in uh, having a strong community and anybody who's interested in being gift-focused, that is, about capacities and assets rather than deficits and needs, would find our site valuable. If you go to the site, abcdinstitute.org, you uh, will find uh, one choice is publications. And if you click on publications, you'll see that there are a lot of them, and there are some of them that are called workbooks. One of those workbooks is called A Guide to Capacity Inventories. And it shows how in 14 different communities, the people in the neighborhood or local community develop a set of questions to find out about the gifts and the assets of their local people so that they can mobilize those in order to make the community better. And so that's very valuable. Then uh, you'll find another under publications uh, part that says downloadable publications. I think you have to buy the workbooks. They're, not, they're pretty inexpensive. But the downloadable ones you can download right there. And uh, near the end of that long list is one called Community Building in Logan Square. And for anybody who's working in fields called developmentally disabled or mental health or physically disabled, I would commend that publication. You can download it. And it is a case study or the story of how one neighborhood became active in reaching to people who were on the edge, recognizing their gifts, and inviting them into the middle so they could contribute their gifts and the community would be stronger. It's the greatest guide I know to what in the developmental disabilities field they call inclusion. So uh, that's what uh, I think you might find there of a special value. There is another website that, that I have with somebody else. And it's called The Abundant Community, a community full of assets, abundantcommunity.com. And uh, uh, that website uh, I uh, have with uh, a, a colleague, Peter Block, who's a, a famous uh, organizational development consultant. And we've written a book called The Abundant Together, called The Abundant Community. And this website has grown out of, out of writing that book. And each of us uh, do blogs on that website. So uh, some of those blogs, I think, focus on the kind of questions that we've been talking about here, and people might find them of interest too.